Last year, you said to write down your fears, and I wrote down my fears, and some of those fears I've been dealing with, and healing, and my law of attraction has been changing. Mm -hmm. But lately, I've been wanting to heal the fear of the love of God. And today, I've had memories of, I was brought up a Catholic, and in church, big statue on the cross, Jesus on the cross, plaster, drips of blood, blood and everything, yeah. and feeling faint, um, and I'm feeling faint now and dizzy, yeah. and the nun said that every time I was a naughty little girl, I nailed Jesus to the cross and I made him feel more pain. Yeah. And I used to feel faint in mass and in school, and I actually fainted. And when I was naughty, the devil was going to get me and all that sort of stuff. So I know that this fear of the love of God is that stuff. And the blockage between me and the love of God. Yeah. And I want to heal it. Yeah. it. It's a terrible thing that you get told. Uh, that, that being told that that my death was made more torturous by your actions. Yeah, so it's my fault. Is a major form of control that uh, churches have used over children in particular. It's a terrible thing to say to somebody, isn't it? The little children of five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, let's, let's look at how to deal with it. If you could think of a scale where, I'd, I'd call this your fear scale, down the bottom here, I'll call it the opposite to fear is truth. So, the problem with fears is they all enter us emotionally. So, remember that fear and truth are not just intellectual concepts. They are actually, together they are emotions. So that means that every single fear that entered me, I'm not going to be able to deal with it by just saying the fear. I'm actually going to have to deal with it by feeling the fear. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So your fear in this case was that my life, my death actually, was made more torturous by you sinning. Yep. That's the yes. indication that they, that they gave to you. That is not the truth. Yes. You know here that's not yes. the truth. So here you know the truth is that actually I only die because of, it. well, as I said yesterday, because of money, lots of it. Basically, that's the only reason why I die, right? And because of the conflict between truth and error. That's the only reason why I die. But here you know that. Yep. But here you don't feel that. That's right. So the only way to get to feel that to hear is to actually feel the fears that you have leaving you. So, what were you told? That I, I caused you pain. So, how do you spell pain? K A R I S M A. Charisma? Caused Jesus pain. And it was torture. Torture. By Sinning. Now, by the way, you could replace me with anybody here. So a lot of times, one of the emotions that we all have is that we're afraid of hurting other people. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. most of us have that. So if your mother, when you were young, told you, you're hurting me when you feel that. You hurt me when you did that. It's the same emotion. Does that make sense? It's the same kind of emotion, but directed at your mother, not God. So this emotion exists in the majority of us because most of the times our parents have taught us things like you're hurting me when you do this or you're causing me more pain or don't you realise how bad you're making my life when you say that or, and so forth. These kind of emotions are often projected at us. You will need to feel that you did do that because that's what you feel inside of you to release it. Does that make sense? So let yourself feel that. 
So rather than fighting the belief that it occurred, go into the childhood feeling that that's what you did. Do you follow me? Yeah. Now, you know here it's not true, but that's immaterial. You will know here it's not true when you release from yourself emotionally that you did that. Does that make sense? And so, so you're going to have to have a good cry about the fact that you believe you caused me pain. Now, if, if, I, if I just let you do that, and those of you who have this same feeling with your mother or your father, let yourself believe it to be true in this instance and let yourself feel it. Does that make sense? Because the truth is in your heart, you believe it to be true. So you let yourself believe it to be true and feel it. When you feel it fully and pray to God about that, what will happen is you'll come out the other end of that feeling, releasing it, and you'll no longer believe it. Does that make sense?